Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Bronx Life Picker 60. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I wanted to share with you guys this, uh, I believe it's uh, from 1940, maybe 1950, uh, Russwin Mortis Cylinder. Uh, it's an, an, yeah, an antique. Uh, my wife got it for me for Christmas. Uh, I believe last year or the year before last. Come on, baby, focus. And as you can see, it has ball bearings in it. Uh, in, in spite of uh, what people say about locks with ball bearings, uh, they claim it makes it easier to pick. And because it creates another shear line. Uh, I believe that to be a fallacy because a lot of prison uh, cell locks have uh, ball bearings in them. And that serves for two purposes. One, to reduce uh, wear and tear on your key. And second of all, to reduce the wear and tear on the pins. I'm constantly, you know, going in and out like the guards have to get in, uh, you know, to take the inmate somewhere, uh, to transport the inmates to whatever. Uh, but uh, that's what I found out in my research, uh, because why would a prison have uh, their locks with ball bearings if it's you know, easier to pick. So, uh, that being said, this is not your ordinary mortise cylinder. This is what you call an expandable mortise cylinder. Back in the day when this lock was uh, first made, uh, there was no standard for thicknesses of doors. Uh, so, because of that, Ruswin and other companies uh, made an expandable mortar cylinder. And let me show you what I mean by that. As it sits right now, it's uh, one and a half inch uh, deep or long, however you want to look at it. Uh, this particular model has the Clover uh, cam. Uh, so what you would do, uh, this goes from one and a half to three inches. Uh, so to do that, you just get a screwdriver. And as you turn it counter, yeah, counterclockwise, I had to check. And the thing about that one, uh, it starts to expand. Uh, maybe a lot of you, uh, a lot of, you know, Especially new pickers have uh, probably never seen one like this or come across one like this. Uh, it took me a little while to figure this out and I started doing some uh, research and uh, lock picking forums and things of that nature. Okay, so right now it's at its max and as you can see it still operates. Okay, and uh, so someone had told me in one of the uh, lock picking forums about this, that that's what it's called. And I'm like, oh, snap. Okay, so, I'm sorry, frame. I want to take this completely off. Here we go. Oop. Come on, baby. I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely off. Actually, let me back up a little bit so I keep 
wanting to see what I'm doing and wind up getting out of the uh, here we go okay so here's where the screw will go into that adjusts the the length of it as you can see right there and these two prongs just like uh, uh, removable uh, do that like this uh, core uh, it has these two holes to you know align with the uh, these prongs that stick out same way with this so if you ever uh, come across a lock that looks like this naked as I call it without the expansion uh, sleeve over it uh, you know that this at one point was a uh, expandable uh, mortar cylinder so uh, with that so with the uh, further ado here I'm gonna take it apart and see what's in it I had picked this once before but and uh, gutted it but to be honest about it I forget what's exactly uh, what's in it so dang damn it come on Angela all right so Take it apart and see what kind of tans are in it. And as I always say, I hope everyone's doing well. And, uh, you know, thank you for stopping by. Okay. Oh, and that's the bidding. I'll have to show you that. Right, let's go this way. I feel like I've never done this before. You get a shim in here and just... I shim everything. Take nothing to chance. I leave nothing to chance. There we go. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me get one with the cutout, as I say. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time here. If I have time, I'll show you something else that I, uh, I'm planning to do. Okay. Come on, baby. And... Mm-hmm. Where are you? Here you go. Okay, this one, number five, is pretty much up the shear line. Uh, so, let me go down. Well, never mind. That came out kind of wrong. <laughs> oh, snap. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Uh, tweezers, man. Tweezers, tweezers. And my ball bearing went running. Come on, man. There you go. I was just checking the pins. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, Get these. Ah. Let me do that. I guess so. I'll be creating more of a mess with the tapping on the. Uh... Tapping on the on the tray itself. 
Okay, so I'll put the ball bearings on the bottom. As it was in the lock. Okay. And obviously nothing done. Come on, baby. Nothing done to the core. <clears throat> See what we got. Uh, yeah, this is not the right size. Uh, follower. That's Uno. Hmm. Ooh. Brass, uh, brass springs. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna mess this gutting. I guess the core is a little, or the follower is too small. I'm trying to get this spring out. Come on, baby. Yeah, beautiful brass uh, springs. Yeah, now that I think of it, I believe it was last year that I got this for Christmas. Yeah, I gotta use my bigger followers for this. Yeah, I had asked the community about this. Like, what is that screw for? And I was a little hesitant to do anything and mess this lock up. And uh, keypicking.com, or uh, the forum, I believe it was, I went in. And because I'm a member there, and I asked some questions. And everyone chimed in. It was a lot of fun and got me straighten up. Oh, come on, baby. I sent them a picture of it, and one gent well, several gent several several guys on there were uh, locksmith and was telling me this is most likely 40s or 50s. Eh, nothing done to the Bible, but I wanted to share this with you guys. Being as I said I was going to. And there she is. Nothing special, but special to me. It's a gift from my wife, so, you know. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? Hold on. There's something inside of this spring. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, I'm not going to force it out, but pretty, pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. So there you go, guys. And, um,. Uh, 14 minutes. You know me. I don't worry about time. If you guys get tired, you can just go ahead and shut off. But I have something I want to share with everyone. Uh, I'm going to start doing something uh, special. What I have here, and let's go up like this. It's a... Uh, a military uh, pouch. Uh, let me. I'll tell you what. Let me open up this one here. 
I already had this one out of the bag. It's like a everyday carry pack. So what you have here, I'll be kind of quick. Here you will put uh, you can put your cell phone in there. And this is military grade webbing. Really, really good. The clasp, you heard that nice and tight. Here you can put a thin, uh, like a thin flashlight or a pen. Uh, here you have snaps, are really good. Okay, you can put this like through your, you know, your belt, use it as a belt loop. Uh, uh, right here and here. These are stretch, stretchy. You can also hang things from here. Uh, like it has a little loop here, you can put a carabiner there and hang it to your uh, backpack or instead of using this through your belt, uh, you can put a carabiner on here and then loop it on your belt loop, on your pants loop, you know, for your belt and uh, do, carry it that way. Or like I said, you can hang it on your backpack. Uh, it has two compartments. That's one. And here you have uh, another one. A little tiny one there. You can put your credit cards or whatever if you're going to use it as a, a personal everyday carry. And then here uh, it's a webbing. And... Uh, so it's really made really well. Uh, I got it from a cat here. I got it from a um, an app called Wish. It's like a, like an eBay type thing, uh, and uh, they sell them anywhere from free which you just pay the shipping to anywhere like I said from free anywhere to $87 and they come in multiple colors uh, this one here is actually uh, they call this mud uh, this one's army green and then you got jungle camo you got sand camo like desert camo uh, and so on and so forth so, the point I'm trying to make is, uh, what I'll be doing is, it's not going to be a giveaway. Uh, I would randomly throw one of these in a trade. If I do, you know, a couple of trades with a, a, you know, a specific person on my other trade, you know, if I do two trades, for instance, uh, my third trade... Trade would be uh, one of these in there. And uh, you can use it as everyday carry for your picks. Uh, or everyday carry for your personal items. Uh, let me show you the one I carry. Uh, right now, you know, I'm shooting this video with my phone, so normally we'll go in there, my pen will go there, I got other stuff in here I don't want to disclose, and uh, on the side here, where the pen goes, I will hook on my flashlight, so, this sucker's powerful, Woo! <laughs> so, uh, you know, be doing trades with you guys. Uh, be on the lookout. Uh, this one, uh, it's already taken. And the person doesn't know. The person I have in mind for this doesn't know it's coming. So he'll, uh, he'll find out when he does a video opening of my package uh, in the near future. And he'll be like, oh, crap. 
But anyway, guys, I've taken too much of your time already. Uh, so I just wanted to share this expandable uh, motor cylinder, Russell. Uh, so with that being said, it's already 20 minutes. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. Uh, be safe. Stay legal. Be on the lookout. Uh, and I'll be getting more of these. Uh, also, I'll be getting some that are uh, just single. Single uh, pouch. Or single compartment. Oh, and by the way, other than out here, uh, this is entirely waterproof. I took mine and dunk it in uh, in a five-gallon bucket of water. And shook, well, I, I set it in for 20 minutes. I shook out the uh, excess water and I opened it up and it was completely dry inside. So, just thought I'd share that with you. All right, everyone. Peace out. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share. I'm having me some uh, heart candies here. Candy hearts for Valentine's Day. That's coming up. Uh, let me find one here real quick. I know I've been wanting to let you guys go, but... Uh, hmm. uh, okay, here. For my new subscribers, thanks for subscribing. Uh, and I am nuts for you. <laughs> I'm nuts in general. All right, guys, everyone, thanks a lot. Be safe, be legal. And as always, stay calm and pick on. Bye-bye, everyone.